Well, the, in the third quarter, we've been developing our business in a certainly uh, complex uh, macro uh, environment where the, the inflation levels were extremely high, or the highest in the last 30 years, and the central banks accordingly are reacting, increasing rates across the board at different speed, but increasing rates across the board. With this environment, uh, we've been, we continue to develop our activities uh, growing our ca the customer base, growing our loan and deposit book, and translating this into a, a higher revenues. At the same time, I want to, to, to remark that the, the, the quality uh, we measure in MPS keeps improving, and we are top three in the majority of geographies in which we are working. With these revenues growing and good cost control, costs are growing, certainly inflation is pushing, ahead, is pushing the cost ahead, but uh, the costs are growing less than inflation. We translate this into a uh, very good uh, uh, operating profit. And finally, the cost of risk remains well, well controlled, although we are taking already some uh, provisions for, uh, due to the macro, uh, that the expected macro that we include in our models. All in all, profitability uh, went up. Uh, we are approaching 14% return on tangible equity, that is a good number. At the same time, our remuneration to shareholders is growing, cash dividend plus 20%, and share buyback of around 1 billion that we announced uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, if we analyze the group by regions, uh, Europe uh, is having a very good year on the back of a combination of customer growth, uh, long and deposit book growth, and a good development in CIB business where we are gaining significant market share. So with this evolution of the business and supported and helped by the increasing rates, we've been able to generate growing revenues. And this is still uh, quarter after quarter we are improving. So I'm very optimistic about uh, the capacity to generate results in Europe going forward. When we speak about North America, uh, the two countries, Mexico and the US, they have a uh, very good return on equity. The trends and results diverge. While Mexico is growing 30%, US is trending down because it's normalizing the level of provisions. Having said that, profitability both in the US and Mexico is a good uh, profitability. In uh, South America, uh, the return on tangible equity is around or north of 20%. These numbers speak by themselves is, and, and we remain constructive on the outlook of the region. And finally, the Digital Consumer Bank, uh, that is developing the activity in a complex environment. Uh, car sales are falling uh, in Europe and interest rates are going up. Uh, having said that, we are gaining share because our, our activity levels remain healthy and uh, the cost of risk remains very low. All in all, we are able to grow profits in double digit in this business in a complex environment. In the coming quarters, we are facing an environment that is certainly challenging and uncertain. The position of the group, the strength of the balance sheet, the capital position, the customer base, and our ability to match properly the cost in a difficult and inflationary environment make me optimistic about the outlook of the group. I do think that our capacity to grow the, the revenues uh, exceed clearly the potential increase in cost and the potential increase in cost of risk. So for that reason, I do think that our profitability will keep improving in the coming quarters. <laughs> <laughs>